notes, please? Are we ready yet? second or the third time and I have very, you know, I, I love this country, I love Ukraine, so um, we liked it actually. Guys, do you like it? Yes, of course. Yes, it is. I think, yes, it is like this. <laughs> okay, where have you been? Well, actually, I'm working a lot. I think yesterday guys had a sightseeing. Yes, we saw the churches, the Lavra. Uh -huh. yeah, it was beautiful. And we, we had the people. best sushi ever. We, <laughs> had the sushi king. we love sushi. <laughs> That's sushi. The purest traditional Ukrainian. Yeah. Good job. Actually, the last time we also had very nice uh, vareniki. Vareniki. Yeah, vareniki with cherry yeah, on toppings. Oh. Mm. I enjoyed that. Lucky you are, you have food. <laughs> okay. Uh, to the serious question, we are moving because today you had your second rehearsal. Uh, could you please share your emotions? Uh, the difference between the first one and the second one, how it was, maybe you did some changes. Well, actually, as it is the second time we perform on that stage, uh, it feels more comfortable, of course, now. And uh, we had some uh, moments that we've changed and fixed. And today I think our rehearsal uh, went very well, much more better. And I think we are satisfied today, even more than the first time. Uh, great, I'm happy for you. Uh, so, uh, I guess we are moving to the floor with questions, but be careful because look at these lovely hoodies. Today, the one who will ask the best question during this press conference We'll get one hoodie from this team. Yes, these guys came with presents. I love this thing. Okay, you please first. Hello, guys. My name is Dimitro. I am from One Plus One Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, Diana, question to you. I have had some information that you actually have a very big connection to Ukraine. Uh, I've heard that you have either ancestors or relatives in the city of Mariupol in Ukraine. Is this true? And you, if you please tell me more. Thank you. Thank you, thanks for a question. Uh, yes, it's true. I actually was born in Mariupol. I have a granny in there, yes. And uh, this summer, me, my mom and my daughter, we decided to spend some time with her. And uh, so, of course, I, I, I love, that's why I'm saying that I have like special feelings to Ukraine. <laughs> Wow, Just some details. So Mariupol is right a few kilometers from the front line of the war. How did you like your vacation near the war, by the way? 
I'm going to my granny and there's no war in my granny's place. So I think we're gonna figure out how to get there. Thank you so much. Yes, you please in the first row and then you. Take the microphone please. Uh, hi, Diana. Eliana Gancherova, newspaper Gomeski Vedemisti, Belarus. Uh, the first question, uh, will your mom, you, uh, your daughter and your husband support you in Kyiv? And the second question, uh, why you decided to perform alone without your band Dikarch? Well, um, actually, my husband, and he is also my drummer in Tihash, and my guitar player, well, actually, they're sitting in there, that's my band name members, they actually came here to support me already, and um, we have decided like this because, um, well, actually, I'm a woman, <laughs> I'm an artist, and um, the format of Eurovision Song Contest is a bit different from what we do, by ourselves, so there was no clue and there was no hesitation that actually we decided to send me on only me here in Kyiv. But how do you feel in the new format, in the new way of expressing, not without your band? Well, um, I feel very nice. <laughs> what should I say? I feel very nice. He's not missing you guys. <laughs> uh, no, I miss them. I miss them. Well, actually, they're here. Why should I miss them? They're supporting me, and uh, I might say for artistic experience uh, to perform at that huge stage and to be broadcasted worldwide, it's a very nice thing for me. So I'm pretty sure everything is going to be well, and like it's it's already well. 100 percent. Thank you so much. Yes, you. Please. Hello, Dihash. Devon Adarimi, WeWeBlogs.com. Fashion, identity, music, visuals. How do you strike a balance in a three minute pop song? Thank you. Well, thank you uh, for a nice question. Actually, this year we have a very selective team and we are looking forward to one direction. So everything that is happening here on stage for these three minutes is really, really balanced, as you say. Everything has their own um, function and this works as clocks, as watches. So everybody do, does their job. So that's why I think in three minutes we can show everything in uh, uh, theatrical. This, this, I might say our performance is more theatrical than, it, than a show. So it works very well. So I have perfect BBs and like uh, everything Everything is going well. So this is the balance, I might say. Everything, everybody is doing their function. That's how it works, I guess, it's a system. Trying to do their best. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, you please, and then you. Hi, I'm Simon from Polish Radio Newsletter. I had the occasion to hear some of your unreleased songs, and uh, they were completely, completely different than this one you presented at the Eurovision stage. And uh, when we may expect it something to expect something more from you, and uh, how much you were involved in the selection of this particular song uh, with the broadcast? Thank you. Yes, uh, our band Tihash, uh, we are doing experimental doom pop, and uh, we have a lot of unreleased songs. And actually, this summer uh, we are going to publish our first new album. And uh, on 6th of May, we're going to perform on stage in Euro Village at 7.50, so come around to look at us and to listen for us. And um, this song was written especially for me. And I know Isamelika very well. And uh, I know for sure, I know for sure that it really suits me. We're matching together as a singer and a composer. So the mood is quite, uh, the mood is quite very near for me. So I, I cannot say that it's not my cup of tea. It is my cup of tea. It is something personal. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yes, you please. And thank you. Hello, Dihaj. It's Pete Fenner, uh, commentary for Iceland. What we would love to know is, um, it's a very original presentation. Can you tell us about the symbolism for the horse? Uh, 
on, on the matter and what you are writing on the blackboard. Um, Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, well, actually, the guy with the horse mask sitting on the ladder, he's a bad guy. And uh, he's wearing this mask and sitting on the ladder. That means we have a huge emotional distance between us. And uh, in the end of our performance, I'm getting out of this box, I'm getting out of this cage. That means that I step over our self-destructive relationship. And um, that's how it is. And I'm writing on the wall the word thorn. Thorn. It's from a song, Thorn Jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You please next. Hello. This Konstantin Orr from Prince Rock in Germany. I was going to ask a very similar question about the, uh, this very sophisticated staging, but the um, second part of my question would be, have you received any reactions from Azerbaijan, from the media back home, um, about this specific staging and its elements? Uh, what do the people back home say about your performance? Well, people back home are accepting our staging performance very well. Uh, all fans that were writing to our fan page were asking us not to dance on stage <laughs> this year. And we actually were not dancing, we do a lot of other stuff in there. So people are, I think they're quite happy. They're supporting me. Uh, there were, there, there are a lot of nice words, I mean like, they can actually understand what is happening and they're proud for me, proud for me that I'm representing our country this year. Thank you so much. Yes, you please. Could you please stand up so the girls could see you, where to bring the microphone? Thank you so much. Hello, uh, I'm David from BBC Local Radio. Uh, can you tell me, how do you handle mis mistakes when you're doing a performance? Are you very hard on yourself or do you try to find something positive for the next time? Not, I didn't you hand, if you make a mistake in a performance, how do you handle it? Well, I'm a normal human and uh, everybody has their mistakes. I'm not an exclusion. And when, I real, when I'm singing, I'm realizing that I do have a mistake right now. I never stop. I never show to the audience that I actually have a mistake. I think it's, not, it's unprofessional to do this. And if, I, if I'm standing on stage, I'm doing the work, we are all doing one work, and it's very, as I said, very unprofessional if I stop, because I will fail and all my team will fail, and all the team behind me already fails, so it's, that's how it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, you please. Hi, this is uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. You have sung in a group, in a band, and I hope I pronounce it right, uh, called Bari Bash? Bach. Bari Bach, okay. You were quite near. Okay, thank you. Um, I was wondering, is that the same musical style as uh, we can hear from the Hush, or come something completely different? No, it's completely different. Uh, we had a band uh, consist of nine people, and we actually, our genre was jazz and folk, and we actually were doing uh, jazz covers for national songs, and we sang in chords. It was a bit jazzy, you know, and uh, it's completely different of what we are doing here, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I would love to ask you a question. Uh, what is the support for you? Uh, of course, fans, yes. It's like for every single artist. It's an air, fresh ass. Uh, what else gives you a fresh air in your life? What else? What else? I mean, two or three things could you please just name? Or um, people or places? Uh, my smiling family, my smiling friends, the health of my daughter, of course, and um, I think this is the most important things. Smiling of friends, smiling of my closest people, and the health of my daughter. And talking about your daughter, uh, we have her here on the screen actually, the picture, yes? 
Do we have the room here? Yes? <laughs> So um, your family is sending you as much support as they can. Yes, they do. And then please, next one. Savara, if I'm not mistaken, Sava, <laughs> Savara, Savara, and he, uh, Savi, uh, Savi, Savi. Uh, so um, that was the moment when she was uh, watching you performing on the note on the laptop. So it was like your uh, dance for your song. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a you see little artist. Yes, that's G uh, coming from generations. Oh, she'll okay. see. <laughs> yes. So, any questions from the floor, please? Because we don't have much time, as you can see, like five seconds. Yes, that's why uh, we would love to ask you to pick the most interesting question you've heard during this conversation. And we will make a present from your team this lovely hoodie. Uh, well, well, actually, I really like the question about bats. Seriously, no. it's a very tricky question, and it's very, it, it, it includes a lot of little things in one sentence. Should you very fast join us here to take the last picture and everything? Yes. Near the Euro where the Euro Village takes place, uh, they will perform with your band Dihash in total. Yes, they gave to uh, to support you. So uh, and it's not going to be one song. It's going to be a great performance. So make sure you will join. You will meet the art and support them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Dihash from Azerbaijan. 